Africa hold its 42nd annual general meeting. Shelter Africa, the Pan-African housing financing body with the development are spread across over 40 nations of the world, held a 42nd annual general meeting in Abuja, Nigerian Federal Capital Territory. In the meeting which held between 8th to 12th of May 2023 with the team Political Economy in, in the Belt Environment at Transcorp Hilton in Abuja, the President, Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, Redan, Alaji Alihu Wamako disclosed the inimitable benefit of the Shelter Africa housing financing scheme to the provision of affordable housing in Nigeria. Yeah, of course, it's a normal jamboree. Uh, I was uh, opportune to attend their 40th and uh, AGM anniversary in uh, Yaoundi, Cameroon. And uh, the whole uh, episode is the same thing. It is just where investors and uh, developers and the housing financial institutions meet to discuss the way forward in the aspect of providing affordable houses to the people of Africa. So, um, let's ask you. The Redan Health Man further disclosed the plans, vision, and prospects of Redan towards actualizing its goal of providing affordable housing for all and bridging the prevailing housing deficit gap in the country. Uh, first, uh, you see, the issue of uh, professional in the industry must be taken at heart because it is only the professionals that will know where this is a marshy area and what it needs and what it takes for you to build on that marshy area. If you find out some of those uh, 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 places where some building collapse, you look at Morocco, if you are maybe a child, you don't know Morocco in Lagos. Morocco has been uh, a, a city of itself. But it was uh, just overnight, it was being reclaimed uh, from the ocean by the Lagos State and those houses that are built on those places. If they are not properly being natured by the professionals, it is going to be a difficult situation uh, for a house to stand on it out on that side. So definitely uh, there should also be a law, uh, a law that will regulate the built industry, which I believe Redan will have gone a step further uh, for presenting a law in the National Assembly, which will, by the grace of God, before the wind of this uh, ninth National Assembly, we are hoping the law will be signed into law. The Managing Director of Shelter Africa, Mr. Tieno Habib Han, expressed satisfaction over the outcome of the 42nd gathering of the Shelter Africa and emphasized on some of their key resolutions, notable among them in the five year strategic plan and the change of name and advancement from Shelter Africa to Shelter Africa Development Bank to vividly reflect their operational stance in the housing and real estate sector. We have been able to push through major reforms and update the, 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 the board and the um, shareholders on the major reforms in the new five-year strategic plan that uh, Shelter Africa has. And uh, in, in this plan, we have been deploying uh, four pillars. One is financing financial institutions for affordable housing. The second one is to finance developers in project finance. And then the third one is PPPs, public-private partnerships. And the fourth one is a uh, uh, fund management group with uh, different thematic areas. The first one is gender. The second one is uh, green climate and resilience. The third one is uh, SME trade finance in the housing value chain. The fourth one is uh, ethical uh, financing um, and uh, Islamic finance. And the fourth, the fifth one is uh, mi migrants and uh, um, uh, internally displaced people uh, housing. So housing for refugees and housing for migrants. And, and the last one, but not least, is the diaspora. So we're looking to uh, create a diaspora fund and issue diaspora bonds for the diaspora to get access to housing. As you know, the diaspora today has uh, inflows of about $2 billion in, uh, 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 in our African countries. And uh, Nigeria has one of the largest one, 19 to $20 billion in diaspora funding. So we'll be leveraging all of that to push the agenda. And we're also revising our statutes. We're proposing major reforms uh, for them. The first one is a change of name or name enhancement from Shelter Africa to Shelter Africa Development Bank, SHAF DB. So we are a development bank because that's what we do today and we just want to reflect that in the name.
further expressed satisfaction over the laudable contribution of the real estate developers of Nigeria, Redan, in collaboration with Shelter Africa towards the development and promotion of affordable housing in Nigeria. Very important to really note here we had great participation from uh, the media, civil society uh, across the board, and uh, uh, Redan uh, is uh, definitely a great partner to uh, all of us, uh, including Shelter Africa. So we think that uh, there's uh, that great opportunities for Redden to be part of uh, this whole agenda and partner with us as well. We've been in discussions with Redden management. Uh, so having a focus on uh, the, the, the media as well from Redden is really critical because it's important to pass on the message and be the advocates for affordable housing and low-income housing. So looking forward to more partnership the Redden and, and Redden Media Group. The Honorable Minister of National Housing and Social M Amenities of, of Zimbabwe, Mr. Daniel Gwawe, emphasized on contributions of the Shelter Africa Housing Financing Scheme in the development and provision of housing in African continent and Zimbabwe. The focus of this conference is to dig deep into what Africa must do to ensure that there is adequate provision of affordable housing, housing that is sustainable, housing that is modern, housing built on modern designs to ensure that we, we bridge the gap between the, the urbanization and the rural communities. As you are aware that uh, Agenda 2063 informs us of the Africa that we want, the Africa that conforms to the various SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, particularly Sustainable Development Goal number 11, which speaks to modern cities and we, we, we want to look at how we can develop our rural communities, transform the rural lands, housing landscape and in Zimbabwe particularly we have what we are calling the rural development strategy or rural, rural transformation strategy where we are now saying we must be able to provide clean water to the rural communities, provide flushable systems, bring technologies that ensure that there are flushable systems in the rural communities build houses that outdo the poor and dug houses that we are so used to. And that's what we are doing in Zimbabwe. Other developers, experts and stakeholders in the real estate sector of Niger in Nigeria and beyond shared their views on the various developments and benefits of Shelter Africa. Prospect the 42nd AGM hopes to provide the housing market. Shelter Africa is owned by 45 African countries and it's a the company continues to forge through all these difficulties with especially agreeing to fund projects in the local currency so they are going to start funding projects in Nigerian currency now which is a very big boost so we don't have to uh, wait to get dollars before we can fund projects so it's a good development and I think that will boost a lot of more development, particularly affordable housing. Yeah. But the solution is for them to have a pragmatic approach to what they are doing. Because it is not enough to just come up with policies. I think the problem is the implementation. Uh, except if the policies are properly implemented, we will still be where we are. At the end of the day, I'm sure it's going to be better because uh, the caliber of uh, speakers that I've seen so far and the kind of uh, suggestions they have made, I see the future of uh, real estate in Africa getting better. Institution that exclusively supports the development of the housing and real estate sector in Africa is also known as Company for Habitants and Housing in Africa. As a pan-African finance institution created to exclusively supports the development of the African real estate and housing sector through its strategic partnership offers products and related services which supports the efficient delivery of commercial real estate and affordable housing. From Redan TV, Olivia Ibe reporting.